everyone, it's DM Media here with another gaming update. Warframe Deathstream number 88 was live yesterday and with it we were able to get some updates and different things as far as Warframe is concerned. One of the things we got is the Hamlet Charger updates, the artwork and what it should look and I believe they are working on it. It should come out maybe sometime next month, hopefully. We got the Chroma Deluxe skin and the Giant Chroma Sword and of course the new photo book mode which was also awesome and then we got the limbo rework which will be something that i'll be talking about today because of all those things i've decided to pick limbo and keep you up to date with how far the rework is coming and what we are hoping to see in the future in the next few weeks or maybe a month from now in my last video i spoke on the update as it might be coming soon than we ever expected and I also say it may be coming early 2017 and here we are it is almost done we were able to see some gameplay yesterday and that will be what I'll be showing you right here in this background in the first set of changes we will look at Limbo's passive when you double tap your shift key which was supposed to roll so instead of rolling Limbo dashes inside and out of the rift as of the moment it doesn't cost any energy but I think in the future it might cause some health drain or maybe even slow limbo down I don't know that is up to D to figure out but I will really really hope it doesn't cost anything and just remains the same because right now it looks so fluid it looks very smooth and I will hate for them to slow down or have a huge cost for it in the first ability we have banish the new build of banish have moved banish from a single target ability to an AOE ability like Banshee's sound quick. So I'm assuming with this, it will be affected by range mods and hopefully maybe some strength mods to amplify that as well. In second, Rift Walk has been changed to a new ability called Stasis. When casted, every enemy affected by a Rift will be frozen between time and space. This will give the player and allies opportunity pretty much to plant attacks as every attack will be effective once Stasis is deactivated. So if you are someone who loves to play raid or a lot of those sortie missions where you intend to fight bosses and stuff, I believe this will be very very effective against a lot of those bosses like Sargus Rock as it freezes them in time and space. It was stated that the ability will have a projectile time and enemy cap which if exceeded will close and collapse the rift so I believe this is an intent to make sure people do not abuse or misuse that ability. In third we have rift surge which will charge enemies in the rift with a void pulse pretty much a void energy causing the rift to have an explosion and create similar pauses when the enemy is killed inside or outside the rift. Cataclysm of course still does the same thing by increasing damage in the rift with an addition of stunning every enemy upon entrance into the rift. So any rift ability that you use right now if you cast that upon an enemy they will be stunned and they will go to the ground before they can get back up again. So that will be very very effective and if an enemy is pretty much blowing you up with rockets and all those things like those bombards you can cast it really quick and that will stun them. On paper, these changes look really, really good and even better when watching it in the video as to see how they have implemented these strategies and this display of power and this display of techniques and mechanics. They do say that this is not final build, of course, as it will change and there are several changes that might occur in the future to ensure that the game isn't broken and Limbo isn't overused like some of the other frames out there. So, and I also hope that with the Limbo rework, they might also come out with a Limbo skin, you know, as they've always done with a lot of the other Warframes whenever they rework them. That will be it for this update. Let me know in the comment section what you think, how you feel about Deathstream 88 and the new changes and the upcoming changes coming into the game. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more updates and content on this channel. It is DM Media signing out. I'll see you next time.